Hey, Chris here with FP Design Fab. Today I'm going to show you my design and build process for the DRS-1 Augur, which is the second prop I created for Sniper vs. Scout. Check it out. So when you're starting a prop build, first and foremost you need to know how the prop will be used in production. And I knew that I was never going to show this in bright sunlight, I was never going to get up close on the details. I was primarily going to use backlighting and play with shapes and silhouettes. So that plays to uh, my style for the low budget film I was making. Secondly, you have to have a good solid idea or concept and utilize reference materials. So here's the reference sheet I put together. I knew I wanted to use an old M3 style carbine uh, active night scope. I wanted to blend a sniper rifle with a bit of an anti-tank gun feel. And then I was going to build it all on an, uh, in an old airsoft AUG. So with all of that in mind, I created a 3D concept model, which you see here, and then I uh, went out to the shop and started fabricating. So again, starting with the Airsoft AUG, I started fabricating my parts out of metal and PVC pipe. Here I extended the barrel out and I notched the end of this pipe so that the barrel would uh, sit well into the body of the weapon. This is the tip I used. And here I was just starting to make the foregrip, which was going to be a pretty basic rectilinear shaped uh, foregrip. I started ribbing it together out of three pieces. And there it is. Next I uh, attached it to the barrel. And I uh, also threw in the uh, piece of pipe I was using for the scope. Started to figure out how long I wanted the scope. And I think that length was working so I had my son hold it up for me and uh, so I could take a look at it, see how the shapes were all working together. Now for the scope, super simple. A couple pieces of PVC pipe, some pipe clamps, a couple nuts and some random brackets. It was all I needed. Here I used some old electronics, an old scuba uh, snorkel. And uh, put it all together, painted it black. And here it is before uh, on any of the finishing details. A couple close-up shots of the electronics. And next I needed to add an end plate to the stock. So I traced it out on cardboard, added some tabs, cut that out, and then I traced it onto sheet metal, cut out my sheet metal, bent the tabs, and uh, riveted it to the end of the stock. And then when my lovely wife came home, I asked her to uh, do a quick demo for me so I could have a look. And here it is in the final lighting that I intended for the film. So that's pretty much it for the DRS-1 auger. Thanks for checking it out. See you next time.